Hey, welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, as you know, we have a new set. We're going to freshen it up, as I said, once or twice a year. And we want to introduce, Barbara's been on the show before, Barbara Bacon, owner mm -hmm. of Aura. Mm -hmm. How are you, my friend? I'm fabulous. How are you guys? Well, I am great. We worked all weekend. We didn't physically paint the set ourselves, did we? Not, we didn't get there and... No, but, you know, <laughs> we, got, we got messy. Got your hands dirty. We right. got well, messy. First of all, on behalf of everyone here at ABC 36 oh, and Midday thank Kentucky, you. Thank you. we've had lots of people mm -hmm. um, email us and also on Facebook and Twitter and say, what a, the set looks beautiful. So thank That's you gorgeous. so much. You are so welcome. We really appreciate it. Oh. So whilst we're looking at some of the close-up shots of the set that we did on Monday, mm -hmm. what, what did you want to ask, Katie? I wanted to ask, uh, how did you choose this color? Because for me, just simply the color on the background completely changed the look of this room. We had sort of an off-white, I think, before. How can that affect you know, the mood of, of maybe a room at home? How did you choose this? Well, it's, it, it, it was an interesting process because the Vista windows were a huge part of Troy's vision mm -hmm. that um, had to be a very specific look. And what I kept hearing in my head was he wanted it to feel homey. Okay. He wanted it to feel comfortable and inviting. And, and so that really helps. And so many times with artwork, in order to get it to really pop, you go darker, not lighter. Oh. Mm -hmm. I got you. You know, yeah, so it's a little bit of a, a reverse. Mm. Okay. And you want to choose a color that doesn't compete. Kind of like, okay. you don't choose it like you choose an outfit. Like, you don't want to look like a granimal where you paint by numbers. You want it to really complement all of your accessories and not really compete. Yeah. That's what Troy's loving the most, some of these accessories, right? Uh, uh, look, one, <laughs> one thing that I love when we were talking about all this, looking at all these accessories that we did, when we, we spent a couple of hours looking at things mm -hmm. and, you know, I was saying, oh, I love this story or I like that story. And, you know, working with a designer like Barbara, it is sometimes hard to get your thoughts out into words. Why is it so important to have the right accessories? Well, the, the accessories can really complement your emotions or mood, just mm -hmm. like that perfect song can put you in that perfect mm, frame of mind. And so accessories are part of the story. Mm. Um, so you want them to reflect and complement, but not, like I say, compete. So when I look at the total picture, it's about bringing balance and that feeling. I got you. I love it. And talk to us about some of these crystals that you have here. We have some on the set. We how do. do you pick these I and how it. do they help accentuate a room? Well, they, the one thing that what's really being proven is how much warmth oh. they bring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because let's face it, a lot of what we have in our homes is mass produced, plastic, mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't have a lot of feel well, to it. Well, what's so special about these? to begin with. Well, what's special about them is, like this piece here, is it's uh, onyx and it's hand carved. So literally wow. someone sat down with this huge block of rock and wasn't quite sure exactly how it was gonna look. Wow. And so you really have to carve things away. The second piece is <laughs> petrified swamp bog. Wow. It is 14 to 11 million years old. No. It's really cool. I love the colors. Yeah. Um, so super cool. Um, and then we have a hand carved quartz crystal from Brazil. It's beautiful. And the company that we strategically work with. Is it a, fi what, is it a fish? It is. Yeah. It is. I got you. Yeah. Hmm. And it has really cool mineral deposits and whatnot in it. Um, the company that we work with uh, specifically hand carved that that had a custom base for it. And then the amethyst. Well, that, Barbara, I have to say that belongs at Dollywood with all the this gorgeous butterflies fabulous. and everything. It is wow. amazing. Yeah. And we hired them to custom make the butterflies oh, the, wow. for us. And w well, Barbara, we're yeah. going to have you back many more. Thank, thank you. you so much. If you want to find out thank more you for yeah. about in Barbara and thank Bacon you for the or Aura or how you can purchase these fantastic. Do we call them crystals or stonework or what? Art, art. artwork? Yeah, artwork. there's all the information up on the screen. Give her a call, everyone. We'll stay with us. Coming up next, we have what's popping in Hollywood, plus a look at your forecast.